waited till tomorrow. Well, the timeline's moved up. That's why the doc was stressed out. Palmer? Yeah, she arrived just before you did. science project? You mean what you're doing for my science project? Uh, nope. Sorry, bro. You are on your own. And, I mean, it better be good because my regression analysis on helmet use is gonna blow Dunkel's mind. Ah, uh, Bubba. Yeah. Good. But, James, are you even listening? Totally. Let me guess. Calculating the probability that Natalie will go out with you in a predetermined set of scenarios? <laughs> Fat chance. Might want to start running the numbers on Last Man on Earth. Wait, you can do that? <laughs> Dude, you're so gonna get done gold. He's not gonna flunk me. The last thing that lady wants to see is me falling asleep in her class next year. Dude, you gotta start trying, man. You know, you gotta try harder. You gotta work for it. It's not just gonna come to you, you know? And I'm only saying this because I'm your friend, but... Come on, dude, I can't keep doing everything for you. Do you see that? Dead body? Looking for Kim K's talent? I don't know. Let's find out. Seriously? Protocol. Certainly, Dr. Palmer. 
whoever they are, they're obviously freaking out over something major. Something valuable. At night? But, come on, maybe it's hunters. Maybe it's serial killers. Maybe we should go check it out in the morning. Wow, that's a great idea. Besides, I, I, I'm not skipping school tomorrow. Come on, this is crazy. Fine. After. We'll go after. It's my dad. Oh. I gotta go. Yeah, dude. Buster. <laughs> Oof, you stink. 9.45 on a school night, man. You gotta hear this. Danny and I saw these people. They had flashlights in the woods. Okay. It's probably just uh, someone out for a night run. But... I'm sure it's nothing. Listen, I have a early meeting with the bank about the shop. Can you get yourself up in the morning? I think I can manage. Or, you know, I can wake you up before I leave. No, thanks. Okay. I'll leave some cash on the kitchen counter. Just get yourself a pizza in case I'm running late, all right? Half pepperoni for me, please. You know processed meats have been linked to cancer, right? Right. Better make it meat lovers instead. Come on, boy. Lights out by 10. What's up, Leia, Leia? Let's ride. Holla, home skillet. <laughs> and where was last night? Oh, insane. I had crazy dreams about it. Was that after or before your dream about Natalie? <clears throat> Got those moving boxes ordered. Will do, thanks. Bye. expect a detailed proposal from each of you by Monday. Don't forget your proposal should include a detailed hypothesis, including an outline of your methods and materials. Any questions? I'll be in the chem lab until 3.15. Here you go. Um, you dropped your pencil. Oh, yeah. I, I didn't steal it or anything. It just came to me. It rolled to me. Right. Okay, well, thanks. Nash. James Nash. Thank you, James. You're welcome, Natalie. Okay, bye. It rolled to me? That was weird.
find her? Uh, we located her car, sir. Actually, that was my idea, sir. Mm. Now, why would I care about her car if Miss Palmer and the device aren't in it? Actually, that was her idea. Oh, no, no, do not put this on me. Oh, no, you no, were the one who on said me. that That's it enough. Enough. That's enough. enough. I want you to go back out and find her. She's not going to just come strolling. Well, 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 you've got some nerve, haven't you? Strolling back in here. What is she doing here, sir? Well, for starters, I'd like my car back. That's not happening. Yeah, one more lap. Come on. Danny, hold up. Where are you going? Um, home. What, you forget? Wait, you were serious about that? You gotta know it's out there. Of course you were serious about that. Come on, daylight's burning. I thought we had an understanding. If I'm being charged with something, I'd like to know what it is. If not, I'd like to go. You're not going anywhere until you tell me where the device is. And why would I do that? Because it's mine. That's debatable. Your father commissioned Freddy to save lives, not destroy it them. It will save lives, American lives, on the battlefield. You field. voided your contract oh. and all your rights to the tech when you decided seem to, to think with so. all the changes that you have mandated, if yours. it falls into the wrong hands. Tell me where it is. <clears throat> what? Lopez managed to restore 78% of the data from the purge, sir. And the device? We're locked in on its tracking beacon. Excellent. So, what exactly are we looking for? Anything. Everything. Clues, signs, evidence, whatever. What do you have in there? Beans? Really? A flashlight? Candy? More? Candy? Rope? I don't even think I want to know what this is for. Just being prepared. <laughs> For what, the zombie apocalypse? May I remind you that your house is two football fields that way? Yeah, not for much longer. Yeah, I uh, saw the sign. So your dad's really doing it, huh? Put it on the market yesterday. So now what, you're looking for buried treasure? Get to it. Well, where's the signal? Uh, it's going northeast across state line. Oh, that's weird. There's nothing out that way, but oh no. What do you mean, oh no? It just stopped. What do you mean, it just stopped? I mean, it just stopped. I hope you brought a change of clothes. Listen, man, you know, we've been searching for nearly two hours. We haven't found a thing. We haven't found a thing yet. Look, maybe it's just time we call it a day. Maybe it's time you sucked it up. My mom's expecting me home before dinner. You, you know how she is. Well, well, we wouldn't want to keep your mother waiting. Yeah, like you know. What's that supposed to mean? Nothing, dude. You know what, how about you come have dinner at my house tonight? I can have dinner at my own house. Dude, I, I really gotta go. Fine, then go. I can't just leave you out here alone. It's gonna get dark soon. I'll head back when I finish this stretch of the road. All right. Call me if you need me.
Where's the rest of it? Go, I'm starving. I'm coming. Did you find it? Uh, well, actually, sir, we found the homing beacon. Let's bring the device back to the lab. Stat. Well, actually, sir, you see, the, the beacon was disconnected from the device. Well, why would you do that? No, sir. You see, the, the beacon was separated prior to us finding the device. We suspect that it may have been compromised. All right. Look, I'll have a chat with uh, Miss Palmer and you two clowns. Stop messing around and get back here. Show me. God, your mother isn't here to see me eat like this. Who's ready for a refill? Sure. Uh, no, I'm good. Can I get this out of your way? Oh, no, no, no. Make a move for his fries, you might lose a finger. Thanks for the tip. Listen, um, your mother sent me an email this morning. She and your sister were hoping for a uh, visit from you over the long weekend. I know, she called yesterday. I had a lot to learn. Oh. They're a 
Who you spoke to? Great. Great. So you want me to book you a ticket? Can you afford that? Don't worry about that, okay? Meeting with the bank. Pretty good, I think. Did you get the money? No. But they said they would get back to me along for the shop. Does that mean we don't have to sell the house? Do we really need that big of a house? Just the two of us? I was thinking maybe an apartment. You know, with the, with the pool, something like that. What about Buster? He's a family. Also a dog. He's my dog. He's my friend. Why can't you figure this out? We busted out the yard. Know that this place that I'm living in is a sick You know the rules, man. No gadgets at dinner. Do we put any more thought into your science project? I was thinking maybe one of those, you know, volcanoes where you pour this stuff in and then it blows up and then most likely I clean it all up. That's kid stuff. I'm in high school now, remember? All right, what's going on? You sure it's not something you want to tell me here? No, it's fine. It's just Danny. He's, he's anxious to get a head start on the weekend. Oh. Big plans? Oh, yeah. You know us. We're planning to knock over a couple convenience stores and try county crime spree overnight. Maybe boost a Ferrari. Cops should have me owned by Don. I look forward to that. All done here? Yeah. Anyone like a piece of pie, apple, or peach fresh baked today? Oh. You know what? Pack one up to go for me. Breakfast of Champions. You want one? No, thanks. Thank you. I can assure you we're going to have an unmitigated success with this. Yes. Yes, sir. I understand that, Dad. So what? Oh, yeah. Okay, okay, Dad. Am I in charge here or am I not? Thank you. So just go and enjoy your cup of cocoa and say hi to Mom for me, okay? Thanks. Bye. What's up? Hey. Uh, what do you think? The guys at Harvest uh, suggested I get some sort of a business plan, you know, diversify, and thought maybe selling these skateboards in the shop would bring in some new customers. I don't know, though. It's minimalist? Yeah, simple. Yeah, that's why I, th I thought so, too. I kind of like it, I think. Anyway, want to give it a test ride? Sure thing. Thanks. Thanks. Yeah, let me know what you think. All right, so listen. Um, I'm gonna search some flights for your trip to Tucson and probably just turn it in early. Sounds good. Watch some Netflix and chill if you wanna. That doesn't mean what you think it means, Dad. Yeah, that was weird. Good night. It's a toy. Okay, did you try to turn it on? There's no switch. Great. A toy that doesn't work. I mean, where did you even find it? Okay, after you left, I, I found this old hunting blind, and I don't know, but it looked like someone was living there. You gotta get over here. Mom, Luke, put pain in my hand. Luke, do not beat your brother. I'll be right over. Hey, okay, see you in a bit.
caution. You are at risk for a fall. Allow me to assist you. What? You can talk? A warning? About what? It thought I was gonna fall. So it's got AI. I guess so. This thing has to be following Asimov's laws. English professor? Robotics 101, dude. It can't allow anyone to get hurt. It has to obey human command, and it has to protect its own existence. Let's see if it's serious. Wait, what? Hmm. Well, okay, we need to put you in danger. Again, maybe we can listen another warning, wake him up. I don't know. Oh, okay. Stand up, stand up. Oh, my weed. <clears throat> uh, Hello? 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 You're gonna <laughs> die! Oh, I'm gonna yeah. die! He's gonna die! Unless I get saved. Unless uh, someone sees him uh, for some reason. Uh, <laughs> This sucks. It knows we're faking. What now? Well, how confident are you that this thing is actually trying to protect you? I know what I saw. Until you decide to cooperate. Sir, we recovered 91.1% of the data. What about the other 9.9%? 8.9. What? 8.9%. 91.1% would leave you 8.9% shy of full data recovery. Oh, so now you want to be helpful? But, uh, Lopez. Yes, sir. So now you're being helpful? Hmm? It's simple math. There's been some slight data corruption. What do you mean? I'm not sure yet. We won't know until we attempt to execute a protocol or a series of protocols to show how the prototype's capabilities have been affected. So why don't we just let it do something, um, hey, fly it back here. Ah, uh, yes, the Raven protocol. <laughs> Great job, sir. Do it. Right away. Three, two, one. What the? Activating Raven Protocol. Whoa. Are you seeing what I'm seeing? It's flying. Unable to activate Raven Protocol. I will run a self-diagnostic to assess the problem. One moment, please. device has received my command, or if so, it's able to uh, execute it. Unacceptable! What do we do now? We wait? Do you think it's... like a... bomb? Do bombs talk? I don't know. Maybe. Diagnostic complete. It appears an electromagnetic pulse has disabled my secondary boosters, interrupting long-distance flight capabilities. I am unable to return to home base. Where's home base? That location is classified. What are you? 
My technology is proprietary. What do you do? I am capable of many functions. My priority is to protect human life. What's your name? Your badge says Fred Eye. <laughs> Let me guess. Classified. The correct pronunciation is Freddy. Hi, Freddy. I'm James. This is Danny. So, are you lost? My directive is undetermined at this time. What does that mean? That information is classified. You know what? I'm gonna go on a limb here and say that this thing is a jerk face. Okay, don't make it mad. It could kill you, okay? One beam. Slice you in half, okay? That's true. Slice him. What? No. I found you in the forest. Do you know how you got there? I was placed in hiding by my creator. In hiding? Who's your creator? Someone is approaching. I assess their intentions to be non-hostile. Freddy, hide. So what, 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 what about, okay. Hey, I'm gonna go ahead and turn it in. Danny, I didn't know you were here. <laughs> yeah, just helping out my uh, home skillet with some homework. Yeah. Homework? Mm -hmm. huh? What you studying? Uh, she, Robotics. Yeah, robotics. AI, artificial intelligence, mm -hmm. pretty complicated stuff, you know. Robots. Sounds pretty advanced. Yeah, it's, yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Future stuff. Very futuristic, you know. All right, Dad, uh, I'll <laughs> see you in the morning. Okay. Good night. Good night. Freddy? James hides Freddy, too. Is Freddy in danger? Uh, well, no, not, not here. But out there, I don't know. Freddy will remain here, in safety. I think that's a good idea. Oh, uh, I gotta go, dude. Sorry. What? You're leaving now? Well, if I'm not home in 10, my mom will grab me till summer, so... I was hoping we could take Freddy out for a spin, see what she can do. Freddy can spin. <laughs> She can spin! <laughs> oh, whoa, 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 Freddy, give it a rest. Freddy will rest as instructed. Entering sleep mode. This has been a truly incredible day, but I need to go, so. How can you sleep at a time like this? Easy. You should try it. Later. Text me if anything happens. Good night, James. One second. Freddy, I need you to hide. Okay. Come in. What was that? What was what? Our voices. Voices? Yeah. Uh, it was probably just the radio. You kidding me? Come on, it's a complete mess in here. Would it kill you to clean your room? I don't know, every once in a while. Yes, as a matter of fact, it would kill me. You know how many toxic chemicals are in disinfectant solutions? Not to mention the trip hazard over the vacuum cord. Or, or the risk of getting tangled in dirty bed sheets. Wait, 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 whatever. Okay, you fix this. We've got an open house Sunday afternoon. We'll never get an offer where they're looking like this. Fine by me. 
Hey, this one's gonna be good for the both of us, you'll see. Good for you. Stay here, I gotta get ready for school. Okay, James. I'm detecting a reduced serotonin level. Are you feeling okay? Yeah, fine. James to die. Huh? I kill you to clean your room, uh, I don't know, once in a while? Ah, uh, right. But that's just a figure of speech. I wouldn't have really... Never mind. Thanks, Freddy. You're welcome, James. I want to keep you safe, so don't forget the ground rules. Remember, nobody can see or hear you. Observing your natural habitat will increase my abilities to assist you in maintaining a safe environment. Just as long as you do your observing without being seen. Incoming threat detected. What? What's going on? Oh, poor baby's all alone. Let's get. Attack mode engaged. Level 2 defense commencing. Increasing speed. Use of safety gear is advised. It's a little late for that now. Whoa. How are you doing that? Dude, go faster. He's getting away. You better not post this. Wait, come on, this is an exciting day. Just say something. First day in the new ride. Woohoo! Freedom! <laughs> Prepare for Ollie. You know how to Ollie? talking about you. Oh, really? I hadn't noticed. Yeah. They're saying you jumped 15 feet over a bench and nearly got Bruce arrested. Uh, technically, Bruce nearly got himself arrested. With a little help from Freddy. Wait, did Freddy go after Bruce? It was a defensive maneuver. Freddy, shh. What the? You brought that thing to school? I just, yeah, it's fine. Uh, it's a half day. Each solar day is exactly 24 hours. Quiet. James, this is bad, okay? Do you not get that? This is some sort of defense spot. People are gonna come looking for it. I'm not gonna let them find her. And I'm not giving her back. Did you bump your head doing that stupid stunt this morning? I'm just curious. I've never felt better. This is the best day of my life, and I don't intend on wasting it. Hey, sweet move, bro. No. Uh, hey, you wanna come with me after school to see what Freddy can do? Can't. Me and the science class are raising money for STEM camp. So I'm tutoring students after class to help contribute. And I actually wanted to talk to you about who exactly I'm tutoring. Yeah, who is it? It's... It, it, it's a girl. Oh, well, well, nice going, brother. <laughs> uh, who is she? Do I know her? Uh... Hey, guys. Hey. See you this afternoon, Danny. See y'all. 
Natalie? My Natalie? It's not what you think, dude. Nice. I gotta go. <laughs> really? James! Sir, excuse the interruption, but I've been running some tests on the virtual model of Freddy, and, um... Mm -hmm. Move. You've been doing what? Running some tests on the virtual uh, model of... Well, that sounds like a massive waste of time and resources, isn't it? With all due respect, I think you're going to want to take a look at this. Am I? Yes. Uh, see, right here, so back in phase one of development, we created this um, this uh, virtual model that we can do some, you know, yes. uh, hypothetical testing without any real-world consequences. Oh. Well, why in the real world would I even care about any of this? this is the question, isn't it? Yes, that is right. a good question, and I, I, I have your answer right here. See, sure. this is the model for the hydrogen core that the Freddy prototype it uses for the fuel cell, along with the internal shielding the mm -hmm. system that we uh, in place for uh, stabilizing. <laughs> um, it, will, it appears that the shielding is failing. All right, without all of the scientific gibberish, just tell me what you actually mean in English. Well, um, see, the lower the numbers go, the faster it drops. We called it the omega error. Ooh. The Omega Era. Why oh, do you like the sound of that? It has a certain ring to it, doesn't it? The Omega Era. <laughs> what happens when it goes all the way to zero? Oh no! Everything within 400 meters is what <laughs> accelerates. <laughs> Sounds wonderful. Well, what? Yes. Wonderful? Well, it would be a carry on. Why are we in the forest? I wanted to take you out for a spin. <laughs> no, no, no. You can stop spinning. I just wanted to see what else you could do. I am programmed to do over 10,000 different tasks. Show me. This won't sting a bit. Omega error. Power cell depletion. Possible source meltdown. Freddy? What is Omega error? Are you hurt? Freddy's power cell capacity is depleted by half. Someone is approaching. I will scan the area. Scan complete. I detect two individuals with hostile intentions. Their bioscans are logged in my database. Let's go. How did we miss this last time? I detect an increase in your heart rate, consistent with extreme stress. Quiet. Hello? Sir, is that you? Sir, I can't hear you. You're breaking up. It sounds like you said you want to release her. Really? 
Oh, right away. What's up? Grant wants to release Palmer. We need to go. Okay. Who are those people? Freddy previously encountered them during my field trials. Is that where you came from? And don't tell me it's classified. I won't tell you it's classified. So tell me. I can't. Fine, I'll look it up myself. Hey! We are likely under surveillance. Searches related to Freddy may be traced to your IP address. I recommend using a public access point for research. So tell me why we just can't leave her here again? The Constitution. Right. Enough. I've decided. We're going to let her go. She's not giving us anything anyway. Yeah, so just let her go again. Exactly. And then I want you to trace her every move. All right, because it won't be long before she heads straight to the gadget. That's what I'm counting on. That's super helpful. I totally get it now. Yeah, uh, there's a ton of little tricks like that. Here, see these phylum classifications? It looks really overwhelming when you see them all at once. But if you break them down first by vertebrae and non-vertebrae, and then by the environments in which they reside, it's easier to break them down and attack it that way. So Can let's I ask start... you a question? Yeah, of course. Isn't that why I'm getting paid the big bucks? <laughs> um... What's the deal with your friend James? Um, I, I don't know. Uh, what do you mean? You know, like, is he single? Does he have a girlfriend? <laughs> James? I, I was just asking, uh, you know, for a friend. Never mind. Uh, so. Let's, uh, let's get back to this. Um, so a lot of these equations look, uh... What was that? Uh, just some kid. Let's get back to these, uh, classifications. Freddy is not a star. A star is a luminous collection of hydrogen and helium held together by its own gravity. Shh, you gotta keep quiet. We're in a library.
you know, this is a complete waste of time. I've been sitting here for like hours and now my butt is numb. I mean, it's not like Palmer's gonna wash through her front door in broad daylight, come on. Well, if you hadn't lost her, you wouldn't be on stakeout duty. Well, she wasn't driving like a maniac, I wouldn't have lost her. Be patient. Be patient, yeah, okay. So I'll show you how to be patient. Reshelve the box yourself. You'll muddle the system. Uh, let me do it. Freddy! Young man, this is a library, not a racetrack. Yes, ma'am. Sorry about that. Freddy is equipped with a cloaking device to evade detection in hostile circumstances. Amazing. Caution, Omega error. Current power, 45%. Hey, I found a burst of Freddy-related searches originating from an IP address at the public library. I'm headed over there now. Yeah. Bye. Yeah, no, no, you're getting it, you're getting it. Just keep doing, keep doing that. Mm -hmm. Really simplified. I need to talk to you, like, now. Can you not wait until we're done? Come on. No, it's okay. We could wrap up things now. And I could give you guys a ride home in my car if you'd like. You have a car? Sweet. So, where am I taking you guys? Uh, the Racken Corp. It's by the tech complex. Off the freeway and by the plaza exit. So, a science lab? Uh, it's for a science project. How oh, long is a science project? Don't do that. Delivery? Uh, I have a delivery for Mr. Brody. Um, I'm Mr. Brody. Tzatziki's. Tzatziki's? Yeah. Tzatziki's, that's my favorite. I mean, I don't have any cash or anything it's, on me, so I don't know how I'm gonna pay you. It's been taken care of. It must be the guys at the station. I love those guys. Like a bad 
What's your business here today, kids? Um, I'm just dropping off. Good morning. Uh, we're just headed over to, to scout out the tech park sidewalks for some sweet spots to ride. Well, I don't think so. Why? Skateboarding is not a crime. It's a free country. But this is a secured area. Since when? It's just a business park. What's going on? I want you kids to turn this car around and get out of here now. Okay. Yeah, we don't want any trouble. Wait a second. You. Me? Yeah, you. Tony Hawk. What's in the bag? Uh, it's just, uh, just school stuff. I need to see it. We don't want any trouble, okay? Can we just go? Open the bag. I'm gonna unzip the bag. Doing that now. Here I go. Alrighty then, on your way. And I don't want to see any of you here again. Got it? You can count on that. James, look, I know this is your thing or whatever. What are we gonna do, man? Okay, listen, I wasn't going to the lab for a science project. I just, I think, I think I found something really amazing and I need to talk to a certain person about it. Are you guys in trouble? Is, is it something dangerous? No. Oh, not exactly. Whoa. Spare in the trunk. Yeah. Got a spare back here, but no tire iron. Or a jack. My dad was just teaching me how to fix a flat tire. I guess I just didn't put any of it back in there. How ironic. And I can't call them because I'm only supposed to be driving to and from school and practice. Don't look at me. Mom will literally kill me if she finds out I'm out here. Well, what about Mallory? Can we call her? She's at dance class. Besides, she only has her learner's permit. But I, I guess I could call Bruce. No. No, no. My dad's at his shop. Uh, he's not far. He can bring his tools over. All right, let's get this tire. Hey, Dad. Uh, I'm with Danny and a friend. Uh, we need your help fixing a tire. Call me back. So now I'm a friend? I hope so. Hey, Dad. Where are you, and whose car are you riding in? Uh, it's a long story. I can explain. Tire trouble? Oh! Maybe I can help. What the heck is that? Who was that? Who, who's screaming? Uh, never mind, Dad. Uh, auto club is here. Gotta go. No, no, James, don't you hang up. I guess the cat's out of the bag now. Or the bot's out of the bag. <laughs> it's out of the bag. Okay. Is this your robot? Um, yeah. I guess so. Her name's Freddy. Who knows about this thing? No one. Just the three of us. And Dr. Palmer. So you can't tell anybody. Excuse me for a second. Who's Dr. Palmer? Dr. Palmer is my creator. I received a warning from her advising us to leave Arachnicorp. Warning? What warning? Is this thing dangerous? Freddy is not dangerous. My directive is to help people. I can help you. Me? You want to help me? Do your thing, Freddy. <laughs> The tire appears to be flat. Do you have a spare tire in the vehicle? It's talking to me. So talk back. Um, I... I have a spare, but I don't seem to have a jack or a tire iron. Not a problem. Are you guys seeing this? Unbelievable. No, 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 no. stop. What are you doing? 
but it's a big deal. Okay, this is amazing. You guys said it wasn't dangerous. I said Freddy's not dangerous. I don't know about the people who are looking for her. So you are in trouble. We... We are in trouble. Excuse me? Well, actually, now you know as much as we do. Oh, no. No, no, no. Okay, I'm taking you two in this tin can home now. I'm afraid it's a little too late for that. No, go ahead. No, I'm good. I need something a little higher octane. A uh, bad day? I have been on a wild goose chase from one end of this town to the other. Yeah, you wouldn't believe what we've seen at the front gate today. Wrong deliveries, lost interns, nosy teenagers. Nosy teenagers out here. What'd they want? Repair complete. The manufacturer suggests limiting your speed to 50 miles per hour. Thanks. You're welcome, Natalie. She's awesome, isn't she? Caution. Omega error. Power cell at 30%. Shield at imminent risk. What's happening? I don't know. It's the second time today. Something's wrong. That's why I need to find this Dr. Palmer. Like now. should be with you. Sir, what? I... Hold on. I, I think you should see this. Yes? I've got a short list of possible locations. Yeah, we'll park a new one. <laughs> awesome. How welcome. short? Um, three residential addresses. Ooh. How positive are you about this? F fairly positive. Fairly positive doesn't sound good enough. Very positive, sir. I'm, uh, actually, I'm 100% I'm sure. Very good. Listen, your partner here, William, has got three addresses. She's going to text and you right away. I want you to meet us there. Yes, sir. I'm on my way now. Let's go in. Get out of my way. You know what I don't get? How did Palmer know where we were? Or that we were in danger? Freddy, what can you tell us about the messages from Dr. Palmer? Each message was received using a covert messaging system not disclosed in my manualized program settings. So she can talk to you? Like in secret? I can receive messages from Dr. Palmer within a 10-mile radius using the covert communication system. So she's close by. Okay, but if that's the case, then why haven't we gotten another message from her? I hope she's okay. So what do we do now? She's good to go on the lease, just have her sign right Hey, there. Dad. Four calls, five texts, three voicemails. I know. I'm sorry. You want to tell me what's going on here? It's a little hard to know where to start. Why don't you just go ahead in the break room? Ah! Not so fast. Who are you? 
Uh, I'm Natalie. Natalie. Natalie, now there's a name I've heard before. You've heard my name. Is that you I heard screaming? Sure hope it wasn't you. No, 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 no. Oh. No, sir, it wasn't y me. Y yeah, that was me. You know, I was just, I was surprised. Everything was fine. I mean, everything is fine. It's all good. Nothing weird okay, here. Do. It was nice to meet you. Let's talk. Me and Danny were out in the woods. We were looking for something we saw the night before. I found this old hunting blind, and in it was this sleeping bag, Freddy in it. Um, so I took it. I think it's not dangerous. And there's this scientist, Dr. Palmer. There's these people looking for her because I was out in the front acres used for evil. Hey, Williams, I'm sending you an update. It's at 16%. That is not good. 16%, okay? Hi, Mom. Wait, what? Some officials came to my house asking. They were driving, um, and her tire went out flat. And that's what you heard. <sighs> wow, I can't believe you've been doing all this alone. Why didn't you just let me know? I didn't want to bother you. You didn't want to bother me? You know, with the house and, and the shop and all. Look, I, James, I know things have been tough, and I've been a little distracted lately, but I, I want you to feel like that you can come to me with anything. Even a bazillion dollar talking flying robot? Yes, even a bazillion dollar talking flying robot. There's nothing in my life that's more important than you, all right? So do you want to meet her? Yeah. Look, I really, I don't know about this, okay? I just think that... I know you're scared. It's gonna be okay. No. Freddy, this is my dad, Randy. Hello, Randy. Nice to meet you. Incoming call. From who? Dr. Andy Palmer. Dr. Palmer? Hello, James. You must have so many questions, as I do for you, but... Time is short and the stakes are high, so let's get right to it. I got here as soon as I could. Well, this car, I, I saw it on the security footage when I was viewing the cameras from the lab. Stop. Congratulate each other later. You, cover the uh, rear just in case somebody tries to get away. Come on, let's go. I'll do all the talking. Are you sure this is going to work? I'm sure of it. You'll just have to trust me. Hey, Dr. Palmer, I, I need you to guarantee that these kids are gonna be safe? I'm gonna do everything I can. Freddie's also here to keep you safe. She excels in risk management in dire circumstances. So ask for her help whenever you need it. Okay, everybody know the plan? Three hostiles are approaching. One in the back and two heading for the front door. Stay here. Looks like one really angry guy in a suit and one gal who apparently hates her job. That's Grant and one of his lackeys. They're here for Freddy. It's game time. Randy Nash, please. Randy Nash? Yes, uh, Captain, you can go ahead and take your lunch. Thank you. Welcome to Fat Tire. How can I help you? We'd like to speak to your son, James. James, what about? We believe that he is in possession of a highly dangerous machine. <laughs> I'm sorry, who, who are you? It's a matter of national security. Homeland security. Okay. I'd like to see some ID, please. Ooh. Weapons manufacturing. It's highly classified work. So what makes you think that James is in possession of this uh, machine? Machine. How on earth am I supposed to get out of here without being seen? You worried about getting busted? You'll be grounded till you're 50? Look, I, I don't care about that anymore. Okay, I just want to do what's right. Okay, so what's the plan? Freddy? 
Preparing to send radio message. Voice replication active. Brody! What's up? Those kids just took off. They're running north. Go catch them. Come on, huh? Nice job, Freddy. Thanks, James. Let's go. Our mission may prove dangerous. First, safety precautions. Power down. No, not again. Okay, there's no time to go now. This photo was taken outside our facility today. Do you have any idea of your son's whereabouts, sir? Or did he happen to perhaps mention a Dr. Palmer? Mm -hmm. No, couldn't tell you. She's a highly dangerous individual. Yeah, well, like I said, I don't know anything about it, and I'm sure James doesn't either. We would really like to speak with your son now, mm -hmm. Mr. Nash. Let me get this straight. You come to my shop on a hunch and you want to talk to my son, who's a minor, about some missing war machine? Come on. Your lack of cooperation could be considered treason. Don't threaten me. As far as I can tell, the only thing you can prove he's guilty of is riding in a car. What's going on? Brody, what are you doing? Did you spot them? What do you mean? You said they took off going north. <laughs> Which way is north again? What? That wasn't me. I didn't say anything. Sir! No, no. Not going anywhere. Get out of my way. I'm not moving. Get out of my way. Seriously? Get out. Let's go. What are you waiting for? Let's go. Really? Wait for me. Hey, Brody, got an update? Can't talk. We're on bicycles. You're on, you're on bicycle. Why are you on bicycle? You know what? Forget it. Just the numbers are going down. You got hello? The probability of us being captured is seventy eight point six percent. Danger. Freddy's power is rapidly depleting. Protection protocols offline. Nice time. We need to split up. Time to end this. You, sir, step away. Homeland Security. It's just a kid. He's just a kid. What are you doing? It's getting away. Move after him. Yeah. What? I'm out. I didn't sign up for this. I quit. What do you mean you quit? You can't quit. Cross the line. You don't just walk away from me. You're fired. You know what? I can do this alone. You. What's your name? Brody, sir. Come on, Brody. Let's go get this kid. Get out of my way. Back out of the bike.
your assistance. Here. I need to double check those numbers. Okay. to do follow the instructions while I enter the code um guys I need another 30 seconds <clears throat> it's at two percent One percent. We're almost there. Stop, 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 stop. Done. It's stop. It's stopped. It's stopped. <laughs> you sure about this? times have I told you that I never lose? Game's over, Doc. I'll never give Freddy to you. Oh, yes, you will. Come on. Hand it over. Come on. We could have been somebody together. We could have been a unit. We could have been a team. Just you and me. My beautiful little, beautiful little creation. Initiating self-destruct sequence. Wait a minute. You... You didn't switch this thing off? Here, we're all gonna die. No, we won't. Because some of us are programmed for protection, not war. Goodbye, James. I both know that Freddy's core was compromised. This is nothing but a failed experiment. If you're a failed experiment, I'm gonna destroy you. Hey, boss, we gotta go. Shut up! Don't tell me what to do! Let's get going. I'm gonna destroy you. I 
looked like you just deactivated. I'm sorry, James. It was too risky. Why would you do that? We had a deal. It was the only way. Trust me. She's gone, Dad. Okay. She's gone. Okay. Where'd you find an interest in robots? It's a hobby I picked up recently. He's obsessed. It's kind of cute, actually. Well, Mr. Nash, I have to say I'm quite impressed. Thank you. See you later, Natalie. Freddy? Hello, James. What? How? Dr. Palmer held on to a prototype of my original design. She downloaded my memory at the chapel. What? This is crazy. I'm functioning at 100%. That's amazing. But why wouldn't she tell me you're my dad? She thought it was too dangerous to reveal my existence. So why are you here? Dr. Palmer is in trouble. She needs our help. Force 
Falling into your space and time